All right, hey, McFly subscribers. So, this is a test one on my um, button your pants. Okay. You can't be on camera. But test one. Um, already looking like this might be uh, dif more difficult than I want. Elijah. Go eat it. So, I'm right here. Look. Thank you for putting your clothes on and not being naked. That's important. Hey, bud. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Elijah. Go. Go. Don't worry about out there. Eating. Yeah, you were supposed to be eating. Careful. By the way, I put on a spacer on the lens so I can, this is how I do my, most of my filming, and I have to get in really tight like this. Okay? Which doesn't leave a lot of tying room. Um, this is how I do it. So, I'm gonna try to get some close-ups here, and that's why this it's not going to be as close up. And um, I have to plug it in because the batteries have since uh, over time died on this. Uh oh. By the way, I'm using, um, I'm going to be selling these, so I'm using Firehole Outdoors. Uh, um, <clears throat> this is their jig hook, it's the 516. Um, I use them a lot. Now, a lot of you might be thinking like, wait, I thought he uses uh, uh, risen hooks, and I do. I love risen hooks. They're great. Um, I think, for the money, some of the best hooks out there. Um, but the Firehole sticks are just, uh, they're a little better. Granted, they're more expensive. Um, so, uh, you know, for video, I use the, you know, because I, 99% of the time when you're fishing, you're not going to need those expensive hooks. So I'm using, um, but when I'm selling these, I like to use the best of the best. So that's what these fireball sticks are. Um, Elijah. What? I just want to watch you. I know, bud. But you're supposed to be what? Doing what? What are you supposed to be doing? What are you supposed to be doing? Eating. Eating! Good. Ding, ding, ding. Go eat. Abby. Abby? No. Ding, 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 ding. Sorry, guys. This is probably not going to work. I don't know. We'll see if I even upload this. Depends on how this turns out. I've already had the camera. So, um, I'm going to try to get in as close as possible, but... The whole point of doing the videos like this now, just to make it a little easier. Sorry, just trying to get focus. And if you're coming on my channel for the first time, <laughs> this is not my normal video. <laughs> uh, I usually do a much better job. Anyway, usually I get these a lot closer, a lot tighter. There we go. Need a little more light there. My videos are very quick. I try to make it to the point. No need you hearing me talk for hours. But right now, as I explained in my my uh, other video, things are changing a little bit and I'm not going to be really making many videos, but this is my attempt at what I can do for a video because usually I do voiceovers um, and uh, yeah, it gives me uh, more control and I can, you know, make better, but with all that noise, I'm sure you're hearing in the background, uh, there's no chance of a voiceover, so. 
Not at all. And I'm I'm home. It's just me, my wife. I don't know if you're picking that up in the camera. It might be more directional. You might not hear them. A lot of screaming going on. They're doing it on purpose. Hold on, guys. Okay. So, um, might have to do more editing with this. Um, I hate to subject you guys to all this uh, craziness here. So small, I need brassy gold. There we go. Oh, no. That sucks. I just lost. A lot of my wire here. There are times. All right. So this is how I usually tie, by the way, guys. It's all like I don't have room around it. Um, this is how I get tight up in. Um, usually it's even closer. It's like this far away. So I just don't have much room and I'm coming in like this. Um, so you guys are seeing really what I'm what I usually do here. So it, this is a uh, Guides Choice Hairs Ear. Here's my Hairs Ear mask. Hairs mask. That's for the tail. A lot of guys will use it also for the body, and that will work. I choose to use a specific dubbing for it because I find that this comes out. I like having the, I don't know, I, I, I just like it. <laughs> I might not really even have a reason for it, honestly. I just like the look. At least scientific reason. Liking a look of something is a reason, I guess. All right. So. go. Tie that in for a tail. Tighten that down pretty good. All right, now we need the wire. Usually I put that on a uh, bobbin holder, but a whole bunch of this came off, so I'll just use it like this. Usually try not to waste it, put on bobbin holder and far less waste that way. I like these little clip things. Um, actually just had some guy send me, oh, here is it. I thought it was really cool, a subscriber of mine, but these are little, oh, let's see if I can get, they're like little weights that are magnetic. Uh, where they hold materials, you can clip them on, um, you know, and it works really hard um, to get off, but it only works for this part of my, it doesn't, um, it doesn't clip up here, nowhere else, I can't clip it, so I can't move materials far back, um, and that's just because my vice is, uh, um, I think it's titanium or something. It's one of those materials that doesn't have, uh, it doesn't get, it's not magnetic. So, oh well. Boy guys, I am so used to doing a voiceover. I usually blow through these, but, um, so this is a dubbing that actually a subscriber of mine sent me. It's just his own mix here of different hairs your um, like shades. So I'm using the light one, medium light.
But yeah, because I'm selling these, <laughs> tying these to sell, um, that's why I'm not getting super close in um, because I want to be able to, you know, I find that when I, when I tie for the video, I don't do quite as good as when I'm close in just because I'm dealing with all this and this is in the way and, and all that and not trying to complain or anything. But um, yeah, I find that I, I, I do better when uh, <laughs> I might actually toss this one, try to grab a couple more uh, to tie instead without this camera in my way. So hold on, I forgot a material. quiet right now. It's amazing. <laughs> Maybe it will work. Maybe I can do these. All right, so two, uh, By the way, I like these things, and I also um, a guy sent uh, the same guy sent me those uh, uh, magnet things. Sent me a couple of these. Um, I had some before, but he sent me some too, so I've got a lot of them now, which is nice. And I use them quite a bit. Um, usually, stuff like this where I clip the a material to it, so that way the ends stay together, which is really cool. Actually, I did that backwards. Should have tied this on first, but it'll work. You always got to tie one or two to get in the groove. That's, that's why I generally tie five packs and singles or more money because if someone wants me to tie something custom, I mean, it'll actually have to go through two or three to be able to get it right. Um, that way I get, you know, something out of the, the five pack. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more money, you know. I mean, I do singles too if you guys need them, but I do sell these, so I'm not trying to advertise on 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 here. Well, yeah, I am. What am I saying? It's my channel. I can advertise on it, um, but I do sell. So if you guys are looking for really quality hand -made, hand tied flies, you can see I, I do take my time and make sure that they're good, good quality. Um, I do not rush on them. I don't spare on quality materials. They're all high quality. Um, and yeah, usually I do a whole lot better when there's not a camera right in front of me, in between me and the fly. Usually, like I said, it's right here. I mean, it's it's uh, it's like you gotta kind of. It's weird. Um, all right. So, and I'm tying today with brown. I'm, I usually, I, a lot of times we'll do this with like red. So it's a, it, it creates like a hot spot or even a chartreuse or something like that. Um, this is six aught uh, Vivas, so it's quite strong. I mean, you can, I'd probably bend the hook before I, and these are good quality hooks too. I'd probably bend the hook before I uh, break the thread. Um, super strong stuff, but um, yeah. And the last thing is just the collar on it. It's always the first one, getting the materials kind of set up and ready and put out where you want them. And usually I can blow through the next ones pretty darn quickly. I mean, I've tied this pattern quite a few times before. Um, it's not like it's brand new to me. Hi, sweetie. All right, bye. <clears throat> my wife just called. So I cut uh, the tip off here and boy, this is going a lot quicker though than when I, uh... see, I use these things all the time for everything. Um, 
than when I usually film. And the reason why is because I don't have to change camera angles a, a thousand times here, which I always do. I try to get the best possible angle and whatever. And and that kind of thing happens all the time. <laughs> Because I can't get up close and I can't, I kind of manhandle the stuff when I'm tying all funky. Yes? Alright, my love. No, uh, I'll be in in a little bit. Alright, so. In fact, I have a video where I tied this a lot closer, okay, um, but I haven't been able to edit it. I mean, it's all filmed and ready, but I can't do the voiceover because um, I like to do those, uh, you know, a little better quality. And with the kids, um, it's really tough to get a voiceover done, which right now, I don't know what's going on with their quiet, which usually that means bad things are happening, but <laughs> you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Hopefully, there's not marker on the wall. Someone just knocked on my door. Probably a package. Uh, well, that didn't work out how I wanted. Super glue, make sure nothing moves. Let's see. Eh, I'm all right with that one, but I'll fish that one. Going to my pile, and I'll I'll tie that. Uh, I'll tie an extra one for when I'm selling. I'm really particular. Um, by the way, you guys see every about once a year, I'll, I'll you know uh, sell off a whole bunch of flies uh, on eBay where it's an auction, and that's what I'm selling is stuff like that where I didn't like the outcome of something, um, didn't turn out exactly what I want, so I didn't want to sell it. It's not up to my standards so um, that's that's what that is but anyway um, well there's my attempt at it I think it went all right you guys tell me what you think I know this is not this is not as good um, as what I am used to tying but you know I, I think some of you might like it uh, because then you can see you know I guess every step um, and it's not just me editing um, you know making it quicker you can see everything that I'm doing you can tell I mean it's been 17 minutes I'm filming I mean there was some time you know off there but also I'm tying like this I wasn't in the groove of it I can probably get that fly down in about five minutes maybe a little less uh, usually but you can see you know um, that's, that's how how I tie here so um, <laughs> yeah here actually I'll even bring this up and you can see how close this is. And then in reality, I'm usually like here. That's where I'm at. And so there's just here. That's about where I'm at. And so when I'm tying, I don't have a lot of room for the, you know, for this. Um, there's just very little. And I have to change angles quite often, which takes a while because once I change an angle, 
Hey, let's stop recording here. We don't need this anymore. So let's pull this out and here we'll put a, hold on. So, all right. So then I've got to try to adjust to, boy, I, I'm probably way too close for you guys to even see that. I've got to try to get the perfect, oh, see that? I need to come out a little further. I'm too close. There we go. The problem is that this moves, then it's off center, you know? So when I'm tying, and this one's semi-close, I usually get much closer though, and that's why I'm much closer to the fly. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm up around this, you know, trying to tie and not bump this, and I have to kind of hover over it. Um, and many times I can't even sit, I have to stand to be able to do it, so. Um, not complaining, I'm just showing you guys what, what I do to be able to make the videos that I do. So, um, obviously that's almost impossible to do watching the kids, um, just the filming part, because I've already had the camera knocked over. Um, and that happens quite often. And then uh, trying, trying to do voiceover, as you can hear, <laughs> doesn't happen, because yeah, um, luckily, uh, they're eating right now, and then Eli is in timeout in his room. So, anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Boy, there's no light in here probably for me. There we go. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys go catch some fish. What was in the mail was this toner cartridge for my uh, printer down there. It's going. Oh, and also I got these, which are tweezers. It says made in China, I know, but tweezers that. Uh, are a fine tip. So these are going to be really good for making like uh, um, mono eyes, like bug nymph mono eyes. Uh, let me see if I can open that package. There we go. So you can make all different sizes. Just hold it a little bit further down, but they're ceramic tips, so they're not going to... Yeah. And I ordered these like two months ago, but you know, coronavirus. <laughs> So, um, I'll let you guys know how I like those. If you guys want them, they were pretty inexpensive. So, um, if you guys want to make some nymphites, so.